Jam Glue, and welcome to the third annual episode of Don't Put Your Finger in That. Don't put your fingers in that. What are you, weird? Don't. What's your finger doing there? I can't get your fingers away from me. <laughs> now, let's look at what this guy's getting his fingers in. Why are you touching those? What, those turn into tadpoles. They're just, they look like little leeches. <laughs> Why are you dumping them in your pool? I've got a lot of whys going on here. And even though it's weird that, you know, he's just manhandling these eggs, I do think it's like, I, this would be a dream come true for me. I love frogs. Oh my goodness, your little fish is so cute. Don't put your finger in that. Don't, w watch where you're aiming that thing. He's gonna think it's food. He's going for it. This, this fish wants the food. He wants it. He's like, give me that food. Oh, it's not food. I'm leaving. Why is this guy waving his finger in my face? Huh? I feel like I've seen this a lot in my life. People touching a dog's tongue. I can't. I, like, stop it. Don't you realize that there's there's literal taste buds on that tongue? Whoa, that thing's long. Who thinks to do this? I would never think to just yank my dog's tongue right out of its... I mean, the dog probably woke up. She's like, ew, salty. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Why? He probably woke up because he can taste your musty fingers. When I wanted to touch my science teacher's bald head in high school, that's not like, you, you don't have to. Oh my, what, what? It's a lot of hands where they shouldn't be in this day and age. These, I just included them because like, these are things that you wouldn't want to touch. Like, why do I have nightmares? Why am I itchy? Why do I feel gross? Like, I think that these are just like those little like gooey things, but these look like sea urchins and apparently you really shouldn't touch a sea urchin because they are really, really sharp. These guys. Wait, this guy's touching one. Okay, but apparently these guys are really, really sharp. Enjoying some delicious fresh sea spaghetti. Uh, okay, no. okay. It's, it's bad enough that you touched it. Now you're putting it in your mouth. That's what she said. Something bubbling in a muddy hole. I had no idea Don't what put it... your finger in that. There's a hole bubbling. You couldn't possibly put your finger in that. It was. I spit out my lunch and shoved my hand in to find out. Why? Turns out it was my good friend Leah. She oh, was infected with an you? invasive blood-sucking parasite. And she was terrified. But I said, oh, no. don't be afraid, Leah, and gave her some pets. I quickly and carefully began removing the invasive <gasps> pulsating parasite from Leah's oh gills. Is that a leech? And this thing was humongous. <gasps> Imagine having a parasite the size of a watermelon attached oh gosh, to your ribcage. Oh my gosh, thank gosh you're helping him. That's okay, what feeling like. <gasps> Not anymore. I yeeted the parasite into the compost, Good. set me free. Okay, that's really cute actually, Jake.pnw. I'm glad you put your finger in that. Okay, so these are awesome. These are super awesome. And I learned how to make them, but first let's guess. Okay, blue. Dang it. Let's guess, guys. Come on, come on. White or purple? Um, um, purple. Ah! I do want to put my finger in this. Yellow, orange, orange. Yeah! Let's go! Orange or pink? I mean, it wouldn't be orange twice, it's pink. Yeah! In case you want something you should put your finger on. I learned from a TikTok how to make these. She just puts clay balls on a toothpick and then she paints them with nail polish. You could make these! The problem with these is that you can't really reuse them. You know what I mean? Like, you can reuse them, but then there's gonna be like, like hard cracked nail polish in your clay. This is what the finished ones look like. The purple looks so nice. <gasps> ooh, ooh, oh, it's so nice. Oh, now this is just lovely, but that looks like straight up dirt. Oh, wow. I mean, I'm sorry. I don't even, I don't even care if this was doo-doo. I'd put my fingers right in there. Right in there. <gasps> Oh, this guy's just getting it in. I feel like this is like one of the most popular, satisfying videos on the internet. Like he's just putting his hand right in there. He doesn't care. Oh my goodness. What even is that? Like, it looks like there's grass in the background. It looks like this is like some sort of clay. I ever heard about a foot going in that? That's, who thinks to do this stuff? We are so, so weird. Imagine if people in 1960 were like, listen, there's this thing that you can do on the internet. You wanna make a quick buck. You, you're gonna wanna fill us off with some shaving cream with food coloring. You're gonna step on that, right? With your foot. Okay, so the reason why, the reason why I included this is just because I, like I've always watched like this kind of <clears throat> cleaning up 
Okay, I don't know how to explain this. <clears throat> I've always been, as a child, so curious to touch a weed whacker. Of course, I would never do it, but it's just one of those things that I've always thought about putting my finger in that I never would and nobody ever should. But man, that is just so satisfying. You can just tell like a really rich person lives here. Like they want the vase in there, in the bush. Doesn't even have to be seen unless you're like walking at it from a certain angle. This girl who owns Ann Acrylics, like let me just, let me just say, this bead of this acrylic, she just has one bead here and she's putting it on a nail and just the way that it pulls down, the way that one bead can go this far, this smooth. I know you're only allowed to touch it with the brush, but I would like to touch it with my fingies, okay? You know how there's forbidden snacks? For me, this would be a forbidden touch. Like, I just want, like, look how smooth and succulent and wonderful this is. I just want to, I just want to ruin her good work. I want to ruin her hard work. Going to Bali and unknowingly holding one of the most dangerous animals. That is it. Oh my goodness. That's a blue ring octopus. You don't want to touch that. You do not want to touch that. Enough venom to kill 26 humans within minutes. Cheers for still being alive. Yes, cheers for still being alive. Don't ever touch one of these. I mean, I don't know how it would sting you, but if it did, oh my goodness, you'd be in such big trouble. It's a good thing that this thing didn't feel threatened. That would have got you good. Where do blue ring octopuses live and can I have one as a pet? Sea of Japan, Southern Australia, Philippines, Vanuatu. Oh, they're so cute. Girl, I would want to touch it too, but you got to be really careful. Like, you got to be careful where you put the fingies. Why is it on your hand, you idiot? Okay, so this is another person who is touching things that they shouldn't have. Um, I found a live textile cone shell. Apparently, you're not supposed to touch these. Apparently, like, they, they could be quite dangerous. This animal will kill in less than nine minutes. Oh my god. Goodness. A textile. Oh, oh, okay. I mean, yeah, it's beautiful. You would want to touch it, wouldn't you? These are predatory and venomous. They're capable of stinging humans and therefore live ones should be handled carefully or not at all. Several human deaths have been attributed to the species of snail. Oh, it's a snail? That can sting? How? Okay, so like with the octopus, I wouldn't touch it. With the crab, I wouldn't touch it. But this thing, I would definitely fall for this one. So this is a really good thing to know. Was it? Oh! Can't you let that dry? Why are you touching that? When someone's like, let my perfect piece of clay just sit there and dry, and you're like, I'm jealous and it's oddly satisfying, but I don't know about that. I don't know about that. This girl is like touching, like the kid girl, the, pe the pan is bubbling. The pan is bubbling. Why are you poking your fingies in there? I mean, it looks delicious, but girl, that looks like it'd be hot. Okay, you know what this actually reminds me of? <laughs> me checking the stove. Yeah, it's off. Oh, this I'm too. Ah! I feel like this happens to anyone who works in a kitchen though. Like if you work in a kitchen for long enough, like you kind of get, you get a certain kind of hand callus thing that's like immune to burns. It's like a sewer too, where like you can't really, you can't really poke a sewer's hand with needles as easily because like it's so calloused. Okay, so this guy's digging through some poo-poos. It looks like poo-poos. It can't, they can't be poo-poo. It can't be. What is he digging for? He found a turtle. What? That looks so gross. How could you just get so down and dirty in there? And how did you find the turtle? How did the turtle even breathe? Wash clean? That poor turtle. When walking slowly, no droplet of water will get to you. He's trying to get his hands wet, but he can't. How cool. When walking slowly, but what if you run? Then will the droplets get to you? What is that? That is so cool. If you guys know anything about this, please comment. Cause like, what is that? I feel like you're just gonna get swimmers itch from that. Like, look at that. Oh, it reminds me of a time I went swimming in a lake when I went camping one time. And like, I had like this weird itch and it's because if you swim too close to like a certain kind of fish eggs, like it, uh, uh, it's very irritating. I don't like it. This makes me nervous to look at. An absolute classic right here. This isn't a hand, but this is a foot, and girl, I would be doing the same thing, even if it meant I would fall into an unending hole that just goes on forever and ever. I just gotta give it a try. This is just straight up really cool. Like, look at this, it just goes away. I would wanna play with this all day. Your little dirty fingerprints are on it, though. Are these guys boiling themselves alive? What are they doing? I need context. Comments, what are these guys doing? I'm worried for them. Okay, so I, these are like the pretty hands that I was talking about. Like. These like, these like devil woman hands, like these hands that just like look evil. Like I'm so obsessed with them. He's going in for it. He's going in for it. How's it gonna work? What's gonna come out of that thing? Okay, this whole thing's making me a little nervous. So 
What was that, a donut? Like, does this remind people of, like, zit popping? What about the person putting this much pressure for the thing to blow? What about this made the satisfying real? Interesting. It's been a really rough day, so we're gonna end with her using her little fingers to pluck negative energy from us. Yeah, take it. Take it from me! Take it from- This better not be no witchcraft, because I don't subscribe to that, but here. Take my negative energy, yes, take it from me. Yep, pluck it out. Oh, that's a nose hair. Ow. That's a, okay, good, thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. That's so nice. Wow, she's very thorough. I feel so positive now. How do you feel? Well, guys, that was the third annual. Don't put your finger in that. Let me know what you thought of it. I, I just saw too many things where I was like, well, why are you putting your finger in that? I hope you enjoyed it, though. If you'd like to see me again, make sure you push notifications, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.